my channel if you're new here i'm Cass, and always so happy that you guys are here and watching my videos don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos but i'm here with maple right now kind of not being the best maybe he's been kind of in a weird little mood and funk the past few days what's been going on she's like i i honestly don't know but i have some very very exciting news today we booked our flights for new york city so we're heading to new york city this saturday and i'm literally so excited we have been trying to go basically all of october and then my friend was in town so we were like okay we have to go when like after she's already gone but basically things just kept coming up and we were like we're not gonna get to go and i was like freaking out I was really crying about it. We're gonna get to go. So we're going Saturday. So basically in this vlog, I'm just kind of prepping for our trip and packing. So probably the next vlog after this one will be like New York City vlog and footage and stuff, which I'm just really, really excited for. So stay tuned for those videos too. But we got a new outdoor rug and I really wanna show you guys cause it just makes our outdoor space so cozy. I'm like, I keep looking out the door at it because it just looks so stinking cozy and really, really cute. I picked it up from Home Goods, which is horrible because I feel like every time I get something from Home Goods, I can't link it. They have nothing on their website. It's just like, if you find something there, it's like a rare good find. Let's go outside. Here is the rug. It was only like $30 from Home Goods. Literally such a steal, such a good find. It just makes the space so cozy and homey, I feel like. <laughs> about to film a different brand deal so i just changed and put on this little cuts t-shirt and some jeans you can't actually really see my fit you can see it a little better here but so we're gonna film the branded content when johnny gets here because he's gonna help me film it because it has to do with maple and filming with her can be kind of a task you know someone has to like keep her occupied and then he's just gonna help film and stuff so we are about to do that it's homemade pizza night so here's the dose and then just the ingredients over here not much tonight i actually thought we had frozen pineapple so i was gonna put some pineapple on my pizza and it's mango so that's not going on the pizzas but they're gonna be so pretty and yummy when i'm done making them <laughs> are ready. This one's Shawnee's. I don't like pepperoni, but now I'm just gonna put them in the oven. here in florida i don't know if you can see on the windows but just walking to the car i was like getting soaked and i hate getting wet from the rain so anyways it's a rainy day in florida but we're going to target to get some little things for the trip that we'll need like um travel toothpaste travel face wash little bottles for me to put other products in that are too big that i can't take and stuff like that so Let's go to Target. I'm always down, always down for an excuse to go to Target anytime. You know, I'm like, well, I have to go to Target before I go on a trip or something. And I want to get a new book, but also the flight is not that long. I don't know if I'm going to have room in my bag for a whole book. So I don't think I'm going to get a book. Very sad about that, but maybe next trip. All right, I'm back home from Target and just going to do a little haul to show you guys what I got. They had these little wrapping papers they're not super big but they were literally only a dollar and christmas is coming up so i was like well i'll get these now and just hold on to them for when we need to wrap presents okay this is the stuff that i'm excited for for the trip first i just needed some more mascara this is the maybelline lash 
sensational. I always get the brownish black color. Little travel face wash. This is a Cetaphil one. I always get this little bottle of this one whenever we're traveling. A little travel toothpaste. Also, they're like trimming bushes or something down there. So if you can hear that outside, I'm so sorry. This is what I'm really excited for. So I got this little kit thing. Has these bottles so i can put some stuff in the spray bottle i don't know if i'll use and then these little bottles so i'm gonna put like my moisturizer in one because my moisturizer is like in a huge tub and just some other little things lastly travel makeup wipes there's only 10 in here that'll be plenty though for me i only use these at nighttime so that's perfect and then the last two things are just for here this coffee creamer the oatmeal cookie silk one it's non-dairy it's the best coffee creamer ever and then i got some half and half for johnny so he can make his like cold films and stuff with this but that's all that we got at target today not a whole lot i was trying to get all my work done so that i can just start packing and everything so i'm gonna catch up on some work stuff and then hopefully start packing and picking out my outfits and everything it is the next day now this morning i was doing a lot of work honestly i feel like I did so much work today and when Johnny gets home we are going to film a video for our YouTube channel so today's been a lot of work but it's okay because this weekend is gonna be so so much fun I went to the gym just a little bit ago and then came home and got ready so I just want to do a quick fit check and then I'm gonna go get some coffee before we film because like I said it's been a day I need a coffee i'm gonna go to duncan even though i swear duncan screws up my order 75 percent of the time or they give me something and i'm like this is not even what i ordered my outfit is just too cute not to share this flower cardigan is the cutest thing in the world it's giving like spring and summer vibes but i just got it and so i wanted to wear it it's from coco mccall and then my little white tank is from white fox my jeans are from princess polly i wear these jeans all the time they just fit me really well and like go with a lot of outfits and stuff and shoes are my birkenstock dupes from amazon and my tote bag is from princess polly so yeah that's my fit for the rest of work today let's go get a coffee thanks for the donkey how can i help you hi could i have a small iced coffee with pumpkin and cream you said huh a small iced coffee with pumpkin and cream okay does that your order yes 2.99 thank you angle is awful i'm so sorry but i'm gonna do a little taste test i just got a small pumpkin iced coffee with cream i never get sugar at duncan as i feel like they pour it in so let's see okay honestly not bad i feel like if you get an iced coffee from duncan that's your safest bet if you order the pumpkin cream cold brew nine times out of ten you're not getting the cold brew like how you ordered it so i think an iced coffee is the safest bet there but i want to fill you guys in on what's going on with our cars right now so we have two cars so like a lot of people think we just have one but we have two so the one i'm currently in right now is the car that i got when i was 16. so he's lived he's lived a long life i am 22 so i've had it for six years but it is a 2013 although i feel like the issues it's been having shouldn't be happening to a 2013 car long story short i'm just going to name a few of the things that just started happening super recent one the steering wheel like shakes really really bad which is like scary and we're just like well, what the heck is even happening Two, the gas like it uses up gas so much if we drive five miles somewhere it will take like 11 miles off of our gas three another one sometimes the window won't go up and down actually it always goes down it just won't always come up you have to do it a lot of times for it to come up so anyways there's just a lot of things so we try not to drive this car anymore just because for one it uses so much gas and the steering wheel is honestly like to the point where if like i will never drive this car hardly because it scares me to drive because the steering wheel is shaking johnny will drive it more than i will so we need to go get it looked at and then we're going to decide to get it fixed pay to get it fixed or if we want to sell it but we really don't want to buy a new car right now so if we sell it we're going to be down to one car between the two of us which wouldn't be an issue for most days but there are some days where we're going to go different places and stuff so a lot to think about that's what's going on with the car situation also if you've been here for a very long time you know that on our bronco the windshield got cracked and guess what it happened two more times we had 
three cracks on this bad boy one of them happened way back in texas that's why i said if you've been here for a while you saw that one i showed you guys then the next one happened just when my friend was in town the other week um that one happened and then literally a few days ago another one happened and so this past weekend we were like no we're getting this one fixed we we're gonna get it fixed anyways but then like after those two we were like yeah this is we need it fixed we got the windshield fixed so benny the bronco has a new windshield he's looking fresh i think that johnny's gonna be home any minute he's actually getting an oil change on our car he's been gone like all day though doing stuff and then his oil change was the very last thing and we didn't think it would take this long and now it's taking forever we we're gonna film our youtube video at like 2 30 2 2 30 it's going on four o'clock now so a lot later than we anticipated but oh good he just said he's on his way we're gonna go film that and i'll catch up with you guys later <laughs> Hello, good morning. My voice is still a little raspy getting used to the day. It's pretty early, but I woke up and got ready for the day and went and got a coffee. Well, it's actually an iced chai. The vanilla iced chai with pumpkin cold foam from Starbucks in the fall are just unmatched so had to get that i'm gonna go get my nails done here soon but before i go get my nails done i'm gonna start packing and trying to fit all my clothes into a personal item so yesterday i went through all my outfits and like picked out everything i want to take and bring i took some videos and stuff so that when i'm in new york i know like what i want to wear when i'm there so i'll put those videos up here but i have everything ready here and so i need to take all the tags off of everything and start getting it you know folded up and stuff to fit into my bag the thing that i'm most worried about is bringing these shoes obviously i don't want to wear these on the plane but they have to come they have to come look how cute these are they're just so chunky that it like kind of makes me nervous also i've been panicking because we're flying frontier which isn't the best airline and i've been seeing videos on tiktok of people flying frontier and they're like making you put your personal item in the freaking thing right by your gate to make sure that it fits and it's always like my personal items they're they will fit under my seat i just don't know if it'll fit in the little thingy by the gate i was gonna bring like a duffel bag that was like this big ish and johnny was like no i feel like they're gonna make you pay for that so you're bringing a book bag will all my stuff fit in a book bag we're gonna find out this is like the biggest book bag that we have so i'm gonna try to fit everything into here the only thing that fit in here were my socks so i thought i'd be able to stuff some more stuff in here not gonna happen i swear i'm packing like the chunkiest clothes Ugh, not on purpose i'm trying to make them not as chunky but it's not really working this is probably the chunkiest thing that i'm taking that i'm a little worried about but i can't wear it on the plane because i'm already wearing like a hoodie that i'm taking this is as small as it will roll up to which is not small at all oh dear where are my jeans gonna go mm, this is not good <laughs> I did just like a brown for fall. It will match all my New York outfits and just is very fall. We're going into November. I needed a good color, but now we're gonna go paint some pumpkins at a little event here at our complex. So stay tuned for that. 